Hello guys, welcome to Study Failure Education. I am Deep Shikha and well since JNU's admit cards are out now, I hope you guys are well prepared for the exams. Uh, since there isn't much time left, so let's go straight to the topic of today that is the dynasties of China. In this video, we'll talk about the imperialism and all the dynasties that ruled China. This one will be one short video that I made point wise for your convenience. Uh, point wise, uh, yaad karna zada asaan hota hai. So give it a like, share and comment if you have any doubts. So let's get started. The first ever known dynasty dates back to 1600 BC that is the Shang dynasty. It is also sometimes known as the Yin dynasty. The first ruler was Cheng Tang. And the last was Zhou. Uh, this dynasty saw the development of calendar, early Chinese writing system, use of chariots and bronze weapons in warfare. Moving on to next is the Zhou dynasty. Zhou dynasty was the longest ruling dynasty of China. Please note that. Um, Wu Wang the first, was the first ruler and he was regarded as a wise king by the Confucians. Mandate of Heaven was said to be introduced during Zhou Dynasty. Now, what's Mandate of Heaven? The Mandate of Heaven, uh, that is uh, known as Tian uh, Ming in Chinese, was the divine source of authority that the rulers of China believed to have to rule the kingdoms. This means that the rulers chose the rulers, it was said that the heaven has chosen them uh rule as a ruler to rule the state means uh they thought it as a right to rule now uh confucianism and taoism were introduced during the later Zhou period the two most important philosophies of china were introduced during later Zhou period uh development of coinage use of chopsticks were also introduced. Uh, the, uh, the book Art of War by Sun Tzu was written during this time. Now I'll come to a very important period of China that is the Warring States period. During the uh, end of Zhou period, Zhou dynasty after the rule of Zhou dynasty ended, Many vassal states declared themselves independent of the Chou dynasty and they stopped uh, supporting the Chou. This caused uh, havoc and they started wars among themselves. So these states were called war warring states. Uh, there were uh, mainly seven uh, fighting states that were Qing, Chu, Chou, Wei, Han, Yan and Qi in which the Chu was the largest state uh, but Qin won as the final supreme star also uh, this this state period um, uh, saw the establishment of government structure that would influence China for the next 2000 years the warfare uh, government warfare was established during the warring states period now the Qin dynasty. Qin dynasty um, uh, the collapsing dynasty fractured over into 100 million states who claimed the mandate of heaven. Uh, before the warring state period uh, started, uh, there was a small period uh, of time which was called as this, uh, which was known as the spring and autumn period. It was relatively uh, peaceful period uh, than the warring states period. And uh, this was the time when uh, the hundred school of thought came into existence since there were many states and every state had their own language and uh, ethnicity 
so uh, this was the period uh, this was the period before which um, the hundred school of thought came into existence now the Qin dynasty Qin Shi Huangti was the first emperor and the uh, Qin dynasty saw the unification of China there was also a standardized writing system uh, standardized measurements during uh, uh, up, uh, during this point of time and the foundation of Great Wall of China was led also the famous terracotta army that we know was built during this period now this one is an important dynasty why is it important because this is known as the golden age of China because China saw its most uh, prosperous and stable period during the Han Dynasty. Cao Tzu was the first ruler of Han, and Cao Ho, that is, uh, uh, who was Cao Cao Tzu's first wife, she was uh, she became the first female ruler of China. Literate society that kept records. So at this point of time. Uh, People started uh, keeping records of, of the history in of uh, literature. Buddhism came from India. Silk Route was opened to connect to the West, that is India. And through the Silk Route, Buddhism was introduced in China. Paper and porcelain was invented. And the earliest record of medicine, that is uh, a famous uh, book, the oldest book that we know of medicine, Chinese medicine, uh, yellow emperor's canon of internal medicine uh, was known to be found during this dynasty now we'll talk about the six dynasties that uh, ruled succeeding over china uh, succeeding over the Han dynasty of china north uh, north was invaded by the foreigners from central asia Confu uh, Confucian system was disintegrated and Taoism became more popular. Literature, poetry and calligraphy flourished during this period. Also the Ballad of Mulan, Ballad of Mulan was uh, believed to be written during the six dynasties. Uh, Ballad of Mulan is the oldest known version of Mulan story uh, that, that comprises of uh, basically uh, folk songs from northern dynasties of China. Now moving on, we'll talk about the Sui dynasty. Yang Qian, the first Sui emperor, took control of the North China and reunified the country and brought, brought back the rule of Han. Also, he revived um, Confucianism and fostered Buddhism. Yang Ti, the second Sui Emperor further completed the integration of South China. Now, one important thing to be noted is that the uh, introduction of imperial exams started uh, in Sui Dynasty. Now, the Tang Dynasty. Li An was the first ruler of Tang Dynasty, and poetry was the greatest glory. Poetry and architecture was the greatest glory of Tang Dynasty. Sculptures of uh, Laughing Buddha and Buddha and also painting uh, played a major role. Pottery in white porcelain and black glaze was also introduced. Now the Song Dynasty. Song Dynasty is an important uh, dynasty. Uh, you need to know, please note that uh, introduction to competitive civil exams were in, uh, uh, happened happened during the Song dynasty. Also, the pre-modern economic revolution occurred during this era, resulting in the growth in per capita income. Invention of gunpowder, first government in the world to issue paper currency and movable type printing, also wood printing, woodblock printing, um, happened during this, uh, this era. A point to be noted that prominent structures include Iron Pagoda at Kaifeng, which is considered a masterpiece of Song Dynasty architecture. Liaoti Pagoda at 
Ting Chow, which stands at a height of 84 meters, is the tallest brick pagoda in the world. So Song Dynasty, uh, during the Song Dynasty, architecture also flourished. Now the Yan Dynasty. It is also one of the most important dynasties of China because this was the first dynasty, first ever dynasty to be uh, established by foreigners. It was established by the Mongols. So Mongols were the first people who made Beijing the capital of China. Marco Polo visited China during the Yuan dynasty. Tibetan Buddhism was consolidated and this dynasty, this era saw the, saw the developments in economy, science, engineering, mathematics, printing, astronomy, medicine, painting, poetry, calligraphy and other forms of art. Now the Ming dynasty. The point to be noted is that a civil service uh, system perfected during this era. Forbidden city was built. Trade exp expansion to the outside world that established cultural ties with the West. Seven epic voyages were led by the great Chinese admiral Chong He. It was all during this period, and also the majority of the existing Great Wall of China that we see now was built in the Ming era. Now the Qing dynasty. Qing dynasty was the second dynasty which was established by the uh, non-Han people, that is the Manchaos. And it is also the last imperial dynasty of China that we know. After, Qing, after the fall of Qing dynasty, uh, the rise of communist party occurred in China. Uh, but we'll talk about that in the later videos. Now Qing dynasty is uh, uh, also famous. Qing dynasty is also famous for the golden age of three emperors, that is Kangxi, Yongcheng, and Chuanlong. Opium wars took place in uh, during this uh, dynasty during this period, and Qing dynasty is, was the ro longest ruling foreign dynasty. Now this was uh, this was a video about dynasties of China. In the next video, we'll talk about the uh, rise of communism and communist party in China, and also the revolutionary way of life in China. Thanks for watching.